This is interesting. So, do you guys remember the CERN videos that we created on Friday about the human sacrifice or the mock human sacrifice or whatever? And a lot of people attacked it? Well, now you have a, a top European lab is probing the human, fake human sacrifice video. Here's where it gets interesting. The European Organization for Nuclear Research has launched an investigation into a video filmed that night on its Geneva campus depicting a, quote, mock ritual human sacrifice. A spokeswoman said Wednesday, August 17th. The bizarre video, which has circulated online for days, shows several individuals in black cloaks gathering in a main square at Europe's top physics lab in what appears to be a reenactment of an occult ceremony. The video includes the staged, quote, stabbing of a woman. These scenes were filmed on our premises, but without official permission or knowledge, a stern spokeswoman told AFP in an email. Here's where it gets really interesting. AFP was interested in what we discovered. As we show, the original video was posted on August 9th, not on the day that everybody else was talking about. CERN does not condone this type of spoof, which can give rise to misunderstandings about the scientific nature of our work, she added. That's funny. The investigation underway was an, quote, internal matter, she said. So wait a minute. The only reason it's going to be an internal investigation is if it's not visitors or guests, but if it's actual people who are more affiliated with CERN. The video has raised questions about security on CERN's campus. Asked to detail the security procedures surrounding access to the campus, the CERN spokeswoman said, CERN IDs are checked systematically at each entry point, excuse me, at each entry to the CERN site, whether it is night or day. So CERN, wait, whoa, whoa, how did individuals supposedly not connected to your site, conduct a, a, a mock ritual. And if, if your security is so good, how in the world were they allowed to do this on your campus without your approval? CERN IDs are checked systematically at each entry point to the CERN site, whether it is night or day. She further indicated that the purpose, those responsible, excuse me, the, that those responsible for the prank had access badges. They are not just people who came and stayed at the hotel. They are people with access badges. This is the official excuse. CERN welcomes every year thousands of scientific users from all over the world, and sometimes some of them let their humor go too far. This is what we got really upset about because, of course, mock human sacrifices, CERN, are not funny. This is what happened on this occasion, the email said. The spokeswoman was not available to comment on the possible identity of those responsible. Geneva police told AFP they had been in contact with CERN about the video, but were not involved in an official investigation. So what do we know? It was not fake. It was not a hoax. It was not CGI. It was a real mock event. It's so real that the Geneva police are involved. It's so real that CERN is clueless, supposedly. How do they have access badges? How are they allowed, basically, on the campus, roaming free in dark cloaks like it was normal? Oh, nobody saw them. Wait a minute, I thought security was good. See, there's too many, there's too many things here that don't make sense for this not to have been allowed by CERN. CERN hosts machinery carrying out some of the world's most elaborate particle research and apparently condoning mock human sacrifices. The interesting part of it all is you, you really can't say that CERN did not play a part in this because they had access badges, number one. Number two, they say their security is tight, which means, guess what? If people are running around in black robes and security can see them because there's cameras and so on and so forth, this is CERN. Why didn't they go stop them? Oh, they ran away too fast. Yeah, right. You seen the park mall security around here? Park mall. You seen the mall security around America? How fast does security get to situations? Within minutes. That video was nine minutes long. They would have at least been caught afterwards. Unless it was allowed. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. That's, that's what I'm trying to get at. There, there is really no logic to the event unless CERN has somehow allowed this or been involved. We know what really goes on at CERN. And it's not humorous. And of course, once again, 
it's so realistic, put it that way, that even the Geneva police are involved. Keep that in mind. So the next time somebody tells you it was CGI or if it was fake or if it was a complete hoax, Geneva police are involved, AP is involved, CERN is involved in the investigation, quote unquote. That's all the information I've got for you right now. I want to thank you all for watching and listening. God bless and carry on.